Hello Rockets, I'm Ashley Brown. And I'm Max St. Romain. And this is the J-Rocket TV News for Friday, October 31st. Streaming live thanks to YouTube's live streaming feature, please bear with us as we work through any technical difficulties. Our top story next Tuesday, November 4th is Election Day, where several U.S. representatives, district judges, many local city council members, including several of the city of Converse, will be on the ballot. Another office up for election is that of Texas Governor, as Governor Rick Perry will not be seeking re-election after serving for over 13 years. Vying for the position of Texas Governor is Republican candidate Greg Abbott, Democratic candidate Wendy Wendy Davis, Libertarian candidate Kathy Glass, and Green Party candidate Brandon Palmer. Rockets, if any of you are 18 or older, you can let your voice be heard by voting. To find out more about how to register to vote and where polling places are, just log on to bear.org slash elections. In tech news, last Monday, Apple released Apple Pay, a new mobile payment system for the iPhone 6. Apple Pay lets users spend money at stores using their iPhones. So far, Apple Pay is accepted at about 200,000 store locations, including McDonald's, Macy's, and Subway. While this is a slow start, it may only be a matter of time before Apple Pay becomes more accepted. Have you ever heard strange sounds or unexplainable sights around Judson High School? If so, you're not the only one. For more on this, we have J-Rocket TV's Trace Sever. For years, there's been the debate on the supernatural. Spooky sounds and creepy sightings in the hall of Judson High School have brought up the age-old question, do ghosts exist? We caught up with the Judson teachers that occasionally stay late, and here's what they had to say. Mr. Kaur is a commercial photography teacher at Judson High School. Um, sometimes when I'm working late at night, I'll hear noises or footsteps, but I know I'm the only one on the hallway. Then one night when I was making copies in the teacher's lounge, uh, when I came back, all the doors and cabinets were open. And uh, I'm not saying it was a ghost, but I don't know how to explain it. Mr. Holler is an Algebra 2 teacher. Well, occasionally we'll hear like a janitor walking in and be like, hey, like Sergio, it's real cool. I love talking to him. This one time, it was just weird. Uh, I don't know how to explain I got really weird chills. I kept hearing knocking at my door. I had the door closed. And it, it was, I don't know, I had a really, really weird feeling. I hear knocking and it was like eight. There shouldn't be any kids here. I check outside thinking maybe I had a like straggler there with sports. And there's no one there. I'm like, all right, whatever, you know, this isn't right. So I go back inside, just doing whatever I want. And the lights start flickering real weird. I'm like, all right, okay, what the hell's going on? I'm thinking, you know, Sergio's playing a prank on me, the janitors. I go back outside, nothing. Not a one. That door blasts open, and I just get nothing but wind coming through here. All I knew was I'm done grading for that day. All right, I haven't stayed late since, and, you know, I don't plan to. All right. Judson High School became so renowned for unexplained activity that eventually Dr. Victor McGovern, a professor of mythology at UTSA and a paranormal expert did his own investigation. It was an interesting night. I had uh, uh, my camera set up in those areas that the teachers had let us know that were a concern to them. They express their events that what happened to them. And so through the night everything went relatively well and, and uh, we, it was a pretty easy night except for a set of uh, videos I'd like to show. This was a video of concern. It's a regular classroom but you notice these chairs. If you look at these chairs right there. Did you see that? What happened? A very interesting paranormal event. The second one is in a hall in a kind of a, a corner area and there you go again. A lot of interesting paranormal activity going on for that night. When J-Rocket TV started this story, we thought we would be able to come up with some answers. Instead, we got more questions. Questions into the unknown. Well, there you have it, Rockets. Maybe ghosts do exist in the halls of Judson High School. If you're going to graduate from high school, ready for college or the workforce, there are lots of things to consider. For more on what juniors can do to get ready for next year, here's J-Rocket TV's George Cano live via Skype with Counselor Leslie McClellan. How are you doing, George? Hello, hi, Ashley. I'm here with uh, one of Judson's counselors, and we're going to be talking about what juniors should be preparing for in the following months. 
Um, what Jetsons, what juniors need to prepare for is they need to make sure that they've passed all of their star testing so they're not retesting in the summer um, and not having to worry about it their senior year. So star testing is very important. Make sure that they pass their algebra, biology, English 1, 2, and their U.S. history their junior year. They also need to ensure that they have received all of their credits thus far because once they become a senior, they would like to be classified as a senior. If they haven't received all of their credits, they will be an 11R, which is an 11th repeater. Well, there you have it, juniors. Just make sure you get those stars out. And do you really want to be a senior? Of course um, you do. Trash, trash can. can. Wait, what? That's not normal, right? That's All right, anyways. But for real, though, it is important to just be on your stuff and keep your head in the game. Um, what's the hey, man, are you seeing this? Is it raining? What's up with the lights? Hey, can you go get that checked out? Yeah, Wanna play a game? Oh, hell no. I'm not here. No, we gotta check this out. They, they can hear it. Yeah, they can <laughs> What you mean? This ain't Scooby Doo. We ain't about to Why are you on camera? Oh, we, you with me, right? Uh, we gotta, wait, who's running the camera? Are you really gonna leave right now? Y'all gonna leave this? Uh, George, you can go. You can go. It's, uh, take, take the camera. Press for hide and seek. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys. Get up off the floor. Uh, oh. go. All right, go. Yeah, we have technical di go. Uh, difficulties. Go. We're gonna go get someone to uh, see if George is safe or anything. Um, we don't. We don't really know what's happening right now. That's insane. Uh, yeah. Um, did you pay? Did you pay the light bill? Um. No. Next. Get me out of here! <laughs> hey! <laughs> You're not afraid of the dark, are you?